Yo, so it's our beautiful brand new, the brand new night, depending on wherever you're watching me from. My name is Jimmy Ralph. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected for time, bro. Yeah, so the all African game is still going on in Accra, yeah? At the Legon Stadium, and like a whole lot of things have been happening. Yeah, we all know Kim Promise and Shatawali were the people that uh, perform at the opening ceremony. They were the two superstars that perform at the opening ceremony, and Shatawali had a whole lot of bash, Charlie. In the within the space of the Ghana entertainment industry, yeah, within the space of the Ghana music industry, people were bashing Shatawale, which I like. I didn't see anything wrong with Shatawale's performance, but we had some of the industry players, you know, so-called industrial pl players, coming out to you know say a whole lot of things about Shatawale's performance, which of course I think wasn't fair, because if Shatawale was the one reacting or acting that way. People would have gone like, ah, Shatawale, yeah, we said it, yeah, we said it. So I feel like sometimes, if you know the person that you are going to be talking about, there are certain utterances or certain uh, things you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, to the extent that people came out, you know, uh, trash his performances and all those kind of stuff, which, of course, that wasn't fair, bro. You know, in this industry, sometimes, in the course of trying to, you know, uh express our minds express our thoughts on you know certain issues we should also take into consideration you know we should also think about the emotions of the people we are speaking about yeah we should also uh, think about the emotions how you know the feelings of the people that we are speaking about yeah it's very good like it's very good to criticize but we all know shatawale like shatawale you know i think with some few media houses shatawale has come out severally to tell you guys that Hey, don't speak about me. But you people always, you know, choose to, you know, speak about him. And whenever he comes out to react, you people always go like, Yeah, Shatawali, we said it. We said it that this guy is crazy and all those kinds of things. Which, of course, that isn't fair to Shatawali, bro. Yeah, so, uh, Shatawali, I can promise, you know, opened, uh, made, uh, did the opening ceremony. Very beautiful performance. Very, very beautiful performance from Kim Promise, Shatawali. It was very dope, bro. It was very dope. And now the clo the closing ceremony will be happening uh, on the twenty. I think two days la uh, later, yeah, two more days to go. The op uh, closing ceremony will be happening at the, you know, will be happening on the sat uh, on Saturday, yeah, or Saturday Saturday twenty third. And Stone Boy, you know, Stone Boy has been mentioned as the performer. Yeah, for the closing ceremony. Yeah, so we have two dancehall musicians, you know, opening and closing. Shatawali was the one that paved the way. And now, uh, I mean, Stoneboy is about to end everything. Yeah, Stoneboy is about to end everything. Stoneboy is coming to end everything. Yeah, so like, that's what we want. We always want to be seeing a lot of shows, you know, international shows. And yeah, that's, that's a very beautiful stage for to see some of our musicians performing on them. Yeah, these are some of the beautiful stages that we want to be seeing our uh, musicians performing on them. Yeah, even though we've not been able to do some of the bigger, uh, the O2 arenas and all those kind of stadium like the uh, the O2 arena, the uh, Madison Square Gardens, the stadium and everything, we've not been able to do some. But, you know, these are also good, bro. These are also good. Yeah, these are also good. These are also, yeah, because, you know, all over Africa, people are in Accra. People are in Accra and two of our top stars are going to be performing. Stoneboy, as you all know, is also a very energetic performer, very dope performer. You know, he has all the hit songs, he has all, you know, some of the... You know, I'm not a fan of dancehall. Yeah, serious, I'm not a fan of dancehall. But whenever, whenever you, you know, see me or, yeah, whenever you see me listening to a dancehall track, is when I'm in love with that track in particular. You know, the, track, the song may be a dancehall music, but I'm not a fan of the genre dancehall. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Jenna down so yeah, like you know from the way sometimes I normally come out to you know be defending Shatawale. One may think I'm a fan of dance so actually me I don't listen to dance so you so me whatever I listen most of the songs I do like from Shatawale are the Afrobeat. Like I was saying, most of the songs that I do like from Shatawale are the Afrobeats and the high life, you know, tracks. Yeah, these are the normal Shatawale songs that I like, but when it comes to dance song, nah, bro, I'm not a fan of dance song. I'm not a fan, huge fan of dance song. Yeah, but if you do a very good uh, track and I feel like listening to it, why not? Why not? I will listen them. I will listen them. Yeah, me, I'm a fan of hip hop, bro. Hip hop, Afrobeats, high life, 
R&B, you know, any other genre, sometimes reggae, you know, even reggae, yeah, sometimes reggae. I'm not a huge fan of reggae. I'm not a huge fan of reggae, but sometimes, and down so too, I may like it depending on, you know, the melody, you know, the song in particular, but I'm not a fan, a huge fan of, yeah, dancehall and all those kind of stuff. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes I feel, see it to be very unfair whenever I see people, you know, going after Shatawale, you know, on certain things that are very unnecessary of them, you know, for them to be. Look at what recently that woman Saliman, you know, came out to say, you know, a whole lot of things. Yeah, I understand that Shatawale reacted, but it was due to how, you know, you disrespected Shatawale. That's how come he reacted that way. And sometimes I also feel like these are pandex. These people that are always coming after Shatawale enjoy Shatawale's reactions. Yeah, whenever Shatawale is, you know, crazy about them, comes out, you know, this them with a song and all those kind of they normally enjoy the whole attention. They normally enjoy Sh Shatawale's uh, rants. Yeah, they normally enjoy That's how come they are always speaking about mine. Since you know, because Shatawale has not not for once, not for twice, you know, has said it on you know different occasions that you people shouldn't speak about me, you people shouldn't talk about you people should delete me from your radios. Not every radio station, though, you know, some few radio stations, which of course, uh, we can mention the likes of multimedia and uh, despite medias and yeah, all those people. Shatawale, I've told you. Yeah, so Stoneboy will be performing. Yeah, Stoneboy will be performing. And like, we can't wait to see the performance from Stoneboy, bro. We can't wait to see the beautiful performance from Stoneboy. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday is the last, bro. Saturday is the last. All African games. Anyway, kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. My name is Jimmy Rafa. I'll be back with more fun time, bro. Jimmy Ross. Flat again, see the play on the street with a do things you can't imagine. But boys never play with a high grade. But boys never give up on streets. Depression killer we as we keep grinding, chasing the mullah. You don't see how when I ice take danger. Never join my hustle with the bad mind. Let me say I was no street boy, I be good boy, turn bad. Never turn your back on me if you see me in danger. This is the reality, but nobody say I get a choice. We're Ghetto kind of life, we know but say we have a choice Oh Lord, who the enemy is to shame Make you over there, over there Make you never ever judge me, brother man Make you never ever judge me, brother man You know be God, you know be God, you know be God You know be God, you know be God, you know be God you know